Are you looking for a way, an easy way to keep your schedule full and attract more patients? Well, I'm going to show you in just a second. Come back here and I'll share you all the details with you. This is Dr. Ginger Bratzel from gingerbratzel.com and New Patient Attraction Automation. I'm the author of Secrets of Creating a Prosperous Dental Practice and I have a strategy video tip for you this week about filling your schedule and attracting more new patients. And when I go about uh, working with my clients around the, the country and when I speak to dentists all over the world and I talk about marketing strategies for patient attraction, I often talk about examples outside of dentistry and that's the biggest asset I think we can really look at. It's other businesses, other smart businesses and what they're doing. So I want to talk to you about a technique and strategy that McDonald's fast food restaurant is doing. Now I don't, if you're a fan of McDonald's or not a fan, we can all agree it is a major company. And they have a long business life and that did not happen by accident and they're very good at implementing systems and getting information. So McDonald's Canada, this specific uh, division of uh, McDonald's, had an interesting campaign that was very successful that I think you can use in taking your dental practice that will help you keep and attract more patients. And a couple of years ago, McDonald's Canada was very forthcoming on their social media and they wanted to just get rid of every um, myth rumor, misconception people had about McDonald's foods. And we all know the, the, all the crazy stories, you know, like they put cow eyeballs in their meat and, and things like that. And, and, you know, these are valid questions people believe. Um, uh, are they true or they're not true? So McDonald's wanted to address those things. You know, what's in a chicken nugget and all the mystery meat that goes into those. So McDonald's asked their consumers or anyone potential consumers through different media, so they use social media, to come in with questions uh, their biggest questions and no um, question was off limit and so they got a lot of gross questions and I'm not going to repeat all the questions they got but what McDonald's did in, and what most businesses what McDonald's did and what most businesses would do are totally different. Most businesses would kind of delete those weird questions and say those were um, inappropriate, we're not going to um, answer those or they're going to go all PC and they're really going to beat around the bush then pretend they're a politician and really not answer the question. McDonald's was straightforward and they answered the questions. And so they're like, what do you put in your chicken nuggets? And they said, well, why don't you come to the factory and we're going to show you. And they went through and they showed them the meat selection and how they process it and why they're the color they are and the shape they are and was very, very transparent. Most companies won't do that. And I was surprised McDonald's did this. But what did it do? It reinstilled a new level of faith that people didn't have before and added credibility and transparency to McDonald's. So in your dental practice, right now patients are saying things about you and dentistry in, um, in particular um, that is keeping others from coming. These are thoughts that they might not address when they come in. So we pick the things, are you afraid of the dentist and all these other things, but what are they really afraid of? You know, back in the 90s, people had the nerve to say, hey, if I come to the dentist, am I gonna get AIDS? People still believe that. Um, I don't want to get sick coming to the dentist. Um, why do you wear gloves? You know, what do you really do with my, those instruments? How do you protect me? Um, you know, is amalgam dangerous? Is composite dangerous? I got questions about sealants the other day that if someone should really do those in their kids. Is fluoride dangerous? All those things. We need to not answer it like the American Dental Association. No disrespect to American Dental But we need to be, how in our speak, be forthcoming. Hey, this is the truth. And if there's ugly stuff, you got to be transparent. And then you got to tell them why it's that. You got to overrule those objections. And I want you for your next office meeting, and I did that as a video already, so go back and review um, the unit on, on meeting structures on how to prepare for success. Go back on office meetings. I want at your next office meeting, which should be either um, like a monthly meeting, this is your assignment for your entire team. Figure out how you're going to collect these questions. We want to get really clear with patients and how we're going to do that. And then you're going to answer them. I would prefer that you answered them by video, but you can also answer them in print. And I don't want you to go all dental talk and all super Englishy on them. I want you to be downright forward and just layman's terms and answer them and say, hey, you know what? That is a gross part of dentistry. 
This is how we address it. Yeah, that is a scary part of dentistry. This is why we do it, and this is the, the pros for it. We want to just let people know. And if you put that on your website, if you put those out on video, uh, YouTube videos to educate, people are asking these questions already. They're already going to the Internet asking them, from, and they've got some guy down the street that's answering it for them. That needs to come from you, the professional. And that will help you attract more patients. It will keep more patients, and it will make people feel more comfortable with choosing you for their dental care. It's an easy strategy. And you're already probably doing it, but you're doing it one patient at a time in a chair, and you kind of let your guard down. And you say, you know what, you know, Joe and I are your friends, so I'll tell you the truth. Well, let's be truthful to everybody and share it in that format. So that's your mission. I want you to go out and do it and um, report back to me what kind of results you get on it. We love hearing your success stories. If you have any questions about joining our coaching uh, mastermind program, and you want to get some really very detailed help on your practice on getting to the next level, please feel free to contact us at gingerbratzel.com and we'll give you the details on that. Until next time, take care.